This is part of the Bhuta Shuddhi tradition where the fundamental process is to cleanse the elements in the system. If you are planning your kum trip, do some sadhana and benefit from that process rather than make a ritual out of it. The cycles of the moon and the sun has a profound impact in the way we are. Celebrating this and finding ways to go beyond this is what kum is. This is a profound understanding of the twelve and a quarter year cycles of the sun. Who we are, the way we are, why we got shaped like this is fundamentally because of the various forces that function upon us. Solar system being the main thing. In a way, the solar system is functioning like a potter's wheel. It functions like the potter's wheel and, well, you the pot, somebody wants to empty their pot <laughs> If only, if for example, the planet decides to rotate a little faster than the way it is right now. All organisms on this planet will have to go to… go through a dramatic change in the way they are. Probably the presently existing organisms including us would not survive a two times speed of rotation. We are like this because we are a product of this system. Understanding the power of these cycles upon the human system, the identified places and situations which would be of maximum benefit to human well-being. So particularly they chose places where there is confluence of rivers, because where two rivers meet, there is a a non-stop force and our bodies of the five elements dominated by water. Over seventy-two percent of our body is water. So if you are in a place where there are churning waters at certain times, considering the latitude and at that time of the year, or at that time of these twelve-year cycles, the relationship between the planet and the sun, it creates a powerful situation where one can transform themselves. A lot of studies have been made on the previous kumbh and they found phenomenal physiological changes in people who stayed there for over forty days and every day they were in that water. A kumbha mela is supposed to be for forty-eight days. That is, people should stay there for forty-eight days, every day in the river along with the sadhana. This is part of the Bhuta Shuddhi tradition where the fundamental process is to cleanse the elements in the system and water being a major part of it. Uh, water is considered very important for health, well-being, prosperity, whatever we are seeking in our lives. So these forty-eight days has particular specific sadhanas where people stayed there and went through this process and came out fully transformed because they made use of the natural forces to transform the quality of oneself, not just physiologically, even spiritually. But today people are going just 
one quick dip and out, that's a different game. <clears throat> there may be some benefit, we don't know, but it's too brief when I watch people, they just in and out in three minutes. That is too brief to have any kind of major impact except maybe an emotional involvement. I know you can't take off maybe right now, make up your mind in forty-eight days, but if you are planning your kum trip, at least plan minimum three to seven days so that you are there, do some sadhana and benefit from that process rather than make a ritual out of it. It's not for… it is not a ritual, it's a scientific process. It's just that science has been lost and practice has been carried on. That's all that's happened. It's time to put back the science because only then we will benefit. It's time we approach these things with little more understanding and meaning to it so that one can really benefit rather than simply making a ritual out of it. For those of you who are thinking, what has it got to do with me? Because I live in an air-conditioned home. <laughs> well, to put it in a very fundamental way, if our mother's bodies were not in sync with the cycles of the moon, we wouldn't be born. Yes, we wouldn't be born. So the cycles of the moon and the sun has a profound impact in the way we are. Acknowledging this, celebrating this and finding ways to go beyond this is what kum is, is what yoga is in many ways, to break the cycles of life. When I say cycles, anything that's cyclical is bound to be repetitive. If something is repetitive, that means it's not getting anywhere. This most people realize when they are close to their deathbed, that when they look back and see what looked like great things when they were doing it, when they look back and see, it doesn't mean a thing. Those who look back and see are those who die and regret. But if you look ahead and see what you may do tomorrow, what you are very passionately waiting to do tomorrow, actually doesn't mean a thing, then you would look at life much more profoundly. The problem is not passion, the problem is not in involvement, the problem is entanglement. The nature of entanglement is always cyclical. So these cycles are determining everything about the human being. If you are living in a physically, mentally very healthy state,